Hello and welcome. I'm just going to be today making a flat sheet of multicolored uh, resin for another art project. So we'll set that aside. What I have is a random piece of plastic that just looks like it will hold so have some nice flat areas. I believe it's a top off of a, like a multi-pack of plasticware. I'm not sure. Anyway, I just salvaged it so we could use it as a base and a mold and a, a, it has high edges so that it will catch any resin that's running off. It's a little warped in the middle so I will use... there. I'll use that as a weight. I use nail polish bottles as a weight, so judge me. I don't care. Um, with me today, I have my trusty little cups for mixing the different colors of resin. I have a handful of recycled popsicle sticks. Some were actually used for popsicles. Most were just have been in resin or paint before, and I've allowed them to dry. And I collect them back up to use again and again and again. Reuse and recycle. It's what I love to do. Uh, we have for stay on standby here. We have a squirt bottle of 90% rubbing alcohol that helps to get the sticky resin off of places it shouldn't be. Underneath all this, I have a piece of wax paper. Underneath the wax paper, I have a piece of craft paper. All super easy things and cheap. I don't think I paid more than a dollar fifty for anything I've showed you here today. Not per item, not total. But uh, yeah, let's just get started on this. Okay, I'm going to need approximately probably about six ounces total of resin. And to help measure that out, I have a cup with measuring increments on it. And I'll be use, reusing this one today. I've used this a couple times already, but it's going to be used again. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and measure out our resin. Also, rubber gloves on your hands. Rubber, latex, whatever. Protect yourself. Even though they say this is non-toxic, protect yourself. Okay, this is a 50-50 resin, and it is Art Resin brand. Okay, so to get six ounces, we'll need three ounces of each. Okay, just three ounces of this. Let it finish dripping. We catch the drip in the cap. All right. And here's the second half. Until we get the six ounce mark. There will, of course, be it's not 100% accurate because it's already had resin in the cup. So you could try to measure for that difference or just keep using it for a while because it's really not that important to be 100% accurate. Once you have the two in the container, you need to mix this for three minutes. Don't chintz on this. Three minutes. At least. I usually go over that. And this will get, be a good, in play, a good place to insert some music. Sometimes I just like to play with this stuff. Watch it pour off of the popsicle stick. Doesn't do any good, but uh, take the little joys where you can get them. Such sticky stuff. I wish it wasn't as sticky, but it is. 
It is super sticky. This is like, it's like, almost like if super glue didn't dry so fast. And it just gets everywhere. So do be careful with this, especially if you've got damageable fabrics. That's why I've got the wax paper, the craft paper under that, and the plastic tray. Coming close up on that three minutes. Ooh, it's putting up little bubbles. I'm saying that this is all mixed up and ready to go. What we need to do is do a little bit of preparation to this. This piece of plastic. So I'm gonna just gonna take a paper towel. I'm just gonna lightly wipe off any dust. We're not worried about the underside. Just gonna get the dust off of that. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna throw this away. It it's, might have a little bit of dust on it, but I can use it in case of emergency. So it will sit right there till I'm ready for it. All right. Let's divide it up and color in the uh, resin here. Oh, let's see. Today I am going to use my color shift. for some of it. I don't have every color and color shift. We're going to again go for sort of a rainbow. Okay, so we're just going to pour some. Oh, we're going to pour about an ounce to a half an ounce in these, each of these cups. Don't need a lot. Now you don't want to leave your resin in these cups for a long time because it will eventually, it, it may eat through it before they cure. So if you're using these little Dixie cup type things, just be aware that the quality will differ on different brands. You might end up with a mess if you have to get up and walk away for a while. Which happens in real life. Sometimes you just got to get up and walk away. Alright. All these little cups. Let's get some color. Today I'm going to be using acrylic for coloring. Um, there are dyes and inks you can use to color them. But I want to go with metallics and color shifts today. I want some pzow to this. I've got blue. Let's okay. Move this out of the way a little bit here. We have metallic folk art brand blue. We have color shift purple kind of shifts between purple and purple. I don't know. Um, I use a little color shift green. Uh, we'll use white pearl. Color shift red. Which kind of goes between red and purple. Kind of neat though. Let's use those. Mm, now for yellow, what do we want to use for yellow? I'm actually going to go to a dye for yellow. I'm going to go to this because it's nice, it's bright, and it's intense. It is the Liquitex ink and cadmium yellow light U. Let's just do that one first then. Okay. We're going to use a liberal amount of color, which for these isn't actually a whole lot. You don't want to use a whole lot, but we're going to use three, four, five, six drops. Alright, six drops. I 
that's just it first. Six drops at first. Mm. I want a little more yellow. I want it to be BAM yellow. Three, four more drops. I want people to say, holy crap, that's yellow. And I think that is holy crap yellow. <laughs> ah, that's a new color. Still, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, to give it more of an opaque form, I'm going to give it two, about two drops of gold acrylic. Right. And we're going to give it a little pop of neon yellow glitter powder. We're just giving it some backbone here. Would be about a pinch. Stir it good. Yeah, there we go. That's yellow. Okay. Set that aside. I've got a little bit of the resin on my fingers, so. So I'm not spreading it around, I will wipe it off of the gloves instead of changing the gloves because no sense in wasting your gloves. Let's go with red next. Alright. Okay. I'm going to start with one, two, we'll try three drops first at first. Stir good. Stir good. Oh, I love color shift. Oh, it's got kind of a neat bright rose pink sort of a sheen to the on top of the red. Almost like iridescence. This paint is a little more pricey, but you're only using a few drops at a time, so it really lasts a good long time. Well, you know, and mostly I'm mixing up this for the snowflakes. I will be using most of this on the snowflakes. So what I want to do, I think I'm going to leave it this half transparent color. And I'm going to put in a little bit of white glitter powder from the metallic glitter set. Again, just about a pinch. Close that up. Make sure that all your glitter is into the resin here. Start with a few little stirs around. Oh yeah, and there we go. We got a winter winter white. Nice winter white with lots of little snowflake in it. Okay. Make sure that you have a secure area to do this. And a place where you can allow this at least six, five to six hours to cure before it needs to be moved around again. Perhaps a kitchen table is not going to be your best bet if you're going to have to cook dinner or something. Oh. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my weight back onto this part that was it's a little high. Now that part's in it. Okay, that okay. now it's pretty much uh, ready, ready to go. You could spray a mold release agent on this. But I don't have one at the moment, and I spraying just makes a mess of everything around it. So I'm just going to risk this. If it binds to the acrylic, I'll live with it. I'll deal with it. All right. First of all, what I would like to do is to take some of the clear, clear resin, give it another little gentle stir, and. I'm just going to drizzle it around the area. Just to add a little bit of transparency to these colors that I'm going to be using. Okay, that's probably good enough for what I'm doing here. Set it aside. Okay, and we're just going to pick a color. We'll start with red. Okay, I'm 
we're going to do is we're going to drizzle that into this area. I'm going to drizzle it all around. Make sure that you get up into the all the little areas so it, it has room to spread and mingle with the other colors. Now, we can't really control too well how this is going to mingle and how this is going to do with the other colors, which is part of the fun of this. Okay. Try to get the area, whoops, <laughs> that's a mess. Try to get the areas that don't have any resin on them. I'm going to come up with your last colors. It's going to be a little more important to do that. You know, though I'm not 100% happy with that red. That red looks very orange. And I wanted more of a red red. Okay, I'm going to take some of the little snowflake color and I'm just going to drizzle it in. It's just going to give this a little bit of a spark. Spark. Right a little bit of areas where light can pass through. Get a neat little pale iridescent sheen to it. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go back to the color shift. last time. And we're going to also add red glitter powder. Oops. You can see the little flakes coming out on top of them. That's right. Oops. I'm going to put a liberal amount in there. Probably about two pinches worth. Maybe three. Okay. Close that up. Make sure that all the glitter that is that's around the edges falls. Side. Let me give this a mix here. See what we get. It's looking better, but it disappointed me last time too, so. Okay, let's mix her up. Sometimes this is just hit and miss. Let's dribble some on there to see what that looks like. Still looks kind of orange. What we're going to do then is I'm going to add my secret weapon. Can I find it? Yes, Azrillian Crimson. It's a little purpley and it's very dark. So you don't need a lot of it. Get any out at all. Oop. Let's try one drop. Just one. Oh, yeah, one. That's all I needed. Secret weapon. It is Liquitex soft body acrylic and it is really crimson. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but it is what it is. In the end, it doesn't really matter what the pronunciation is. Do your best. Okay, that looks like a bloody red if I've ever seen it. Okay, so mix it up. And this is a little bit bordering the line of too much acrylic and color in resin. But since it's going to be swirling around with the other stuff, let's go ahead and throw it in anyway. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, baby. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's what I wanted. No, I better not go too overboard. Any other color I need to add to that? Oh, nope, I think this is done for now. So what I will do is we will let this cure for five to six hours. Okay, you can tilt it a little bit if you want. Let the paints the colors move around each other here. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I see this here, and I'm just going to break it up a little with the popsicle stick. Just break it up. I don't want to mix them. I don't want to turn this to mud. So I just 
want to mix. I like swirls. I don't think swirls in there. Okay. Other than that. Okay. One more final detail to this. There's probably little teeny bubbles in this if you want to get rid of them. What I suggest is a little inexpensive torch, a little butane torch. You can find them on Amazon or head shops or all over the place these days. Just brush it over the top of the just brush the flame over the top really quickly, the resin, and it will pop all the little bubbles. Don't say stick stay too long with it or you'll melt your plastic. Okay, it's like six o'clock in the morning here. I realized that my window of opportunity for peeling these things out of the mold was very slim and I was probably gonna be asleep when it happened, so uh, we're gonna peel this off. I uh, already started it with a pair of scissors. Just to get it ready to see if it would come off. And remember, this is all plastic, so. Any paper like and thin here. Lay it out, rub it. It's really rubbery right now. I need this whole on. That was a little loud. Oops. Okay, that part peeled off. So we'll just peel this off in one chunk. Ready? Let me see through there. I'm not getting a little light going on here. This is really cool, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I'll let this dry flat and we'll finish to cure up a little bit. Mm -hmm.